I'm just going to show you my setup for my mobile wash truck. I have it on a 16 foot cube van. This is a skid mounted pressure washer. It's custom built. I have uh, a bypass hose running from the pressure washer back into the tank. And this is a gravity fed tank. Um, so all of the water just flows into the pressure washer from gravity. It's not pumped in there. And this, uh, this bypass hose, the whole point of this is um, if, you're let, if you let go of the trigger on your gun, um, it doesn't overheat the pump. So the water, as soon as you let go of that trigger on the gun, the water will go up in this hose into the, into the tank. And then you're always getting cold water back into the pump. Because what happens is a lot of these, a lot of these uh, machines that you get from the store will have a hose kind of curling around here. And then when you let go of the trigger, water will cycle through. And um, you can only let that cycle for so long. Because if you let it cycle for over a minute, you could overheat and blow your pump. This is a $2,000 pump. So that's why I have it hooked up that way. Because, uh, you know, say you want to go for lunch or uh, talk to somebody, you could be as long as you want with this setup because it's always getting cold water. But the other way, if you know you're going to be over a minute, just shut the machine off. I have a 725 gallon tank. It's got three legs on it. I have it anchored by a few ratchet straps and these tank steel, uh, I guess they're brackets that bolt to the, bolt to the truck. And I have this hooked up here. I could hook up a, a three inch fire hose to it or two inch. I have a different fitting for that. I just take that off. This is, this is unscrews and I can put a different end on it for a two inch. I have it set up right now for a three inch and I hook up to most towns have bulk water and um, I hook up to that and it just fills this tank up in no time. This is a, a diesel fired pressure washer. So I actually have the diesel coming in to the back of this truck from the fuel tank of the truck. This is a diesel truck. So I have a, a, a pump on this machine and it uh, pumps out the fuel out of the, the truck tank and into this machine. So I don't have to worry about jerry cans and filling up uh, an, oil, an oil tank, like a diesel tank with the jerry cans. I'll probably do that eventually with this. I'll probably put a tank under the trunk, out of the truck, sorry. And um, then I don't have to deal with jerry cans. I could just fill up the truck at a gas station, diesel and, and gas, and then uh, this machine will run all day with a larger tank. This tank only lasts about two hours. And it's got a few other things. Black PVC pipe I just throw in there, put the gun in there. This is my setup. There's so many different ways of setting these up. I've seen so many. I met a lot of different guys too that have it set up differently. This is the way I set it up. I got, I got uh, three quarter inch ball valves. I can hook up two machines off this tank. And I have it insulated just so, just in case my lines freeze up because I work in Canada and uh, it gets cold. So it just helps out. When it's too cold, I don't grow. Well, that's my setup.